All right, YouTube. Uh, thank you for my subscribers. Uh, someone sent me uh, this. Uh, this is copper nickel plated. Look at this. Uh, basically, it's pure copper with the nickel on top. It's basically. So someone in the group was asking if we can weld this directly to a battery. And that's a great question. We're going to test now if that is possible. All right. With the glitter A11. Um, I believe if I don't mistake, let me see what, how is the thickness on this? This is um, 0 0.2 actually. If you notice here, 0 0.2 millimeters. So because it's 0 0.2, it's pure copper. I'm going to start in 40T. Probably it require more than that, but it's not a sandwich technically. So it's pure copper with nickel on top. You know, it's technically nickel sandwich, but I mean, it's, it's, it's not the same concept. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut a piece. And actually that battery is not the best example to do this because it's, it was previously used. I should clean it out very nicely first, but let's give the shot if we can do this. And I'm gonna be again using the glitter, egg 11. Look at how it looks like. This is copper with nickel on top, all right? Let's see, 0 0.2. Let me grab the, this is the new, um cables that's for the glitter they have the trigger built in so let's let's try this to see if that works straight to the battery i'm not sure if it's gonna work or not all right we present this here and press both at the same time mm -hmm. i guess it's too much power let's lower this to 30. Wow. Look at that. 30%. I guess he's making. Yeah, that first one not because it was, wow. I guess he's making. <clears throat> You guys just, that's pretty decent weld in my opinion. That one and that one. Let me get uh, something to pull it out. This probably is the most appropriate. No. Nope. Even when it looks like it's not, uh, he's acting, he's acting like copper. It make the hole, but that was the first one. I don't, I don't count on that one. So let me try this side. Again, that's without use any flux. I'm gonna try again. Let me get ready the camera here. Try again. I'm gonna increase again to 40. Maybe it's just the cable. This cable is still not. Um, I don't get used to it them yet. Plus, I have the cell phone in front of me, so let's see. One, two. That was much better. It's a good power. Now this side. Okay. One. Again. Two. 40%. Yep. Now we can see the copper. Melted. Let's see how it goes. See, it's still too soft. I mean, it's working, it's working, but the problem is that we still have copper. The problem is that copper is a soft material, and that's what I explained why we need to use uh, nickel on top. We still have, you know, copper.
it's working, it's working. Look at the copper there. The problem is that because it's a soft material, it just came off very easy. So now it's a big difference if I put a top of, uh, let, me, let me show you what I'm talking about, the difference. Uh, maybe with this battery, it's not the most clean battery, but I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Um, let's clean this first. Let me look here there. To make a fair, you know, comparison. All right, that's just to clean this. Um, we don't do this, do this normally. So I'm gonna take another piece. Show you the difference. 0 0.2, right? I'll put it here. And I'm gonna put a, just a little piece of nickel. It's pure nickel, 0 0.2 this on top of the copper and probably I'm gonna have to crank that power let me put it to let's go 50 for the phone 50 percent you're gonna see the difference what I'm talking about why we don't recommend go with pure copper uh, all right, that's one. Man, these cables are not, especially with the cell phone in front of me, it's not comfortable at all. Okay. I guess we need more power, but let's see how it goes. Look at this now. We need more power, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, we need more power. I mean, it's thick, but let's let's go and crank crank this up. It's it's pure copper. I mean, pure nickel with zero point two. Let's crank up this to seventy. That's probably it's gonna make it without problem in seventy. One, two. Actually, that battery is not the best example. One, two. Let's see now. Yeah, I remember this battery is, is used. It was not clean, which will work in a clean environment. Damn, that was a good one. Look at this. There we go. That one re make it. I mean, it's, look at that. It leave the hole and it was a stronger weld. Um, again, this is not the best example. With a, with a decent battery, uh, it's gonna make a strong bond. But yeah, so yeah, don't go with the copper nickel plated alone. It's, it's not, gonna make it the only one that i really recommend um to be honest with you um if you want to go straight i have very good results with 0 0.1 copper now look at this i'm gonna decrease the glitter to let me put it in 15 percent 15 percent only and i'm going with pure copper 0 0.1 0.1 this is 0 0.1 pure copper no nickel and I you know I had good results like this and they stick pretty decent very low you have to go very low power Very conductive. See, actually I have one little explosion and make a hole, but 
uh yeah it doesn't stick either in this one it's the i guess it's the battery because i i use the other electrode and it really stick uh it's just this is probably too much power but look at this uh that's that's a problem i mean it's still honestly recommend that you use, use the combination copper nickel let me go now with a little bit of nickel 0 0.1 as well the same combination 0 0.1 as well 0 0.1 0 0.1 same power i'm gonna keep it in 15 percent probably maybe i need a little bit more but let's try Normally I don't use these electrodes for this thickness. I use the the other one. <clears throat> you see the difference? With the uh, nickel, that's why we use that. I mean, it, it it went through again. This battery is horrible for this test. I mean, it's so bad, but it works. See, with nickel, yeah. Use your copper nickel combine. I mean, it's it's better. All right. Uh, hey, if you like my content, subscribe to the channel, uh, please. Uh, support the store, and uh, you know, remember visit the Facebook group DIY 500 amp. Is the group. Uh, in Facebook and you know DIY500amp.com is the store. Remember, subscribe and click the notification bell, okay? You have a good one.